What up guys? This is Monkey Figure Reviews and today we are going to discuss an upcoming One Piece Figure Arts Zero Extra Battle Figure and that is the Pirate King himself, Go D. Roger. I have to admit I'm a little bit surprised that they decided to go for this figure because previously before him we have Odin and of course for him his uh, new character his popular no-brainers they are definitely going to do him uh, but I thought they might go to some of the more interesting Wano characters but it looks like they are jumping right to the flashback so we have Roger here and what they're trying to do here is to recreate that first encounter between him and Odin so you have him just launching that Conqueror's Haki shortwave attack at him uh, which is a very interesting attacking pose they decided to do. I thought that they might do the clash between Roger and Whitebeard so I'm still not sure if they are going to do it but I'm really hoping that they will because Figure Art Zero they definitely they have the ability to create their own version of that uh, and of course make it more epic with the Conqueror's Haki Clash effect. I could just imagine it in my mind. It would look amazing because right now we have two versions. We have the Ichiban Kuji version. Even though the facial likeness, the, the style of that is actually quite nice, I don't think that uh, it looks epic enough to give justice to the scene. And of course we have the Bempresto version but that is too small and the details are also quite lacking. So I'm praying, I'm hoping that one day they will do the clash and we will get an epic set of figures. Alright, so for this Roger, his height is 23cm. He will be released in August 2021 this year and his price is 7,000 yen. By the way, I think that this is the first Roger figure at zero figure. From my memory, it seems like that way, or they might have done one of him, one or two of him a long, long, long time ago, and I have no idea that they even exist. Let me know. Let me know if they actually exist, because that would be interesting. Here, we have the figure in all his glory, and boy, oh boy, he looks really, really good. I really like the effect that is coming out in front of him, and you have this lightning streaks which is uh, evidence for him using the Conqueror's Haki and of course the rest of the effects you can tell it's a bit of color variation it goes from red to uh, maroon and it goes to black so that's really neat and uh, for the figure if you look at the main body himself you can tell that this style they are going for more realism. So I shared this before previously because even within this figure at zero uh, production line this series they do have different styles and some of them, for example, Paramount War, Luffy, and Buggy, they are more clean, uh, they are more smooth in the texture, they are more cartoonish, more anime-like. And then you have the three emeralds where they go crazy, they go ham on the details, making it look really realistic. So I can tell from this Roger, they are going for the more realistic side, and I really like that. And just by looking at the hair, the individual strands, they look amazing, very, very detailed. You can even tell some color differences. But I'm not sure if that's because of the lighting or not. And of course the face looks great as well. Captures his likeness, his personality. And his clothing, the creases, uh, texturing, the folding, they're all very natural. His abs, his, his muscles, uh, some of the veins, arm muscles popping up. And of course the cape, all very good looking. This is a different angle, so you can have another look on the effects. You can see lines on it to demonstrate the direction of the shockwave and of course on his clothing as well his clothes are sort of moving towards uh, towards his back the direction and it fits really well with the hair because the hair is also semi floating in midair due to his movements and some of the minute details on the clothes on the cape with the texturing and from this photo I think there's a bit of shading in the darker parts of his shirt, of his outfit and even the, the foldings on his boots, those are really well done. This is his uh, left fist and of course the sword. I do think that perhaps they could have made uh, the, the golden part of his cape and his sword more, more golden, more shiny, something like the King of Artists, Goldie Roger. I think it would look better. 
This is the back angle or side angle, depends on how you look at him. So more details on his body, even all these lines below the cape. Now we can see them. Very natural looking, looks great. And of course, uh, the effects looks more impressive from different angles, just by the shape of it and the size. I think they have done a great job. I do think that there will still be a base, so I'm not so sure if Roger can stand well on his own. His pose, his position can be a bit off-center, we'll have to see. And uh, the rest you can just see for yourself. This is a close-up for the face. I think it's quite well done, though in terms of likeness, this is, in my opinion, closer to how he first appeared in the manga in the anime. So, the really old-school Roger. The new style of Roger, he looks more like Ace. You know, he looks like an older Ace. Uh, but you know which is very different from how he first appeared but looking at this face he just reminds me of that very old look of him when he first appeared in the story and of course some of the details like this lines they are supposed to be his beard and you know even the the, the, the crease wrinkles whatever you call them around the eyes to show his expression he's just so confident I think it is really well done this picture, you can see how we can display Odin and Roger together, which is very, very interesting. I think they will look great together. Uh, and, you know, I really hope they do Whitebeard and Roger another set because if they can do one for Odin and Roger, they can definitely do another set for the Legends as well. So this will be interesting and definitely look amazing in your display case. So these are some real life photos of Roger. So I'm just gonna quickly go through them. You can see for yourself. Not sure if they did some sort of color adjustments to these photos, but they definitely look more, uh, the colors look more in contrast. So just take it uh, as a pinch of salt when it comes to the colors. Wow, you can, you know, the wave just looks amazing. The circular motion, the circular effect. I really, really like it. Alright guys, that's all I have for this Roger figure. Let me know what you guys think in the comments section below. Will you be getting him? Does he look amazing? Let me know what you guys think. And as usual, I have to give my figure at zero disclaimer. And that is, from what I know, from my own personal experience, and also seeing the figures that have came out, usually they will have a drop in standard from prototype to final product, final figure. So you have to be wary of that. It is actually quite common and sometimes I don't really like the QC they have done. It's just really lackluster and they could have done better. So I feel that you should be wary of that as a potential customer, as a potential consumer. And as of right now, we know that there's a Kaido figure coming out for Figure Art Zero. We have no photos of it yet, so I'll try to keep you guys up to date once we have the information. And thank you guys for spending your time with me. If you liked the video, do give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and also hit the bell notification button so you don't miss out on new videos like this. I'll see you very soon. Goodbye.